Hey, welcome to the Windows channel and um, today we're going to talk about in Windows 8.1 what's the top software that I recommend to install on a Windows 8 machine something that you know will help you in every respect uh, security browsing and also just making life easier in Windows 8.1 probably the most important piece of software the first one I recommend to everybody in Windows 8.1 is Classic Shell. Classic Shell is a must for pretty much everybody that comes from an earlier version of Windows needs to use Windows uh, 8.1 in its best and useful way that you're really used to. Classic Shell basically will give you back a start menu that looks like a Windows 7 start menu. So if you come from an old version of Windows, if your device is a mouse and keyboard, no touch on no touch screen, basically. Uh, you know, this is not necessarily something I would install on a tablet or a touch device. But on a regular laptop with the little trackpad and keyboard, or a desktop with mouse and uh, keyboard, Classic Shell is a must. It really, really puts your uh, computer back on track in a Windows like world. Uh, that's the first complaint probably of Windows 8 pretty much for everyone. And so Classic Shell is a must. You get it at um, ClassicShell.net. It's totally free and it will transform your computer into a basically more of a Windows 7 style start menu and the desktop and stuff so I think this is a must uh, pretty much everybody that uses 8.1 on um, my clients that don't have touch devices I actually put classic shell to help them use Windows 8 better so classic shell is probably the number one software that I will tell you to install in Windows 8.1 what else do I recommend I will also recommend that you activate Windows Defender which is part of your Windows 8 install. If you have a trial of a Windows um, antivirus or some Norton or McAfee or whatever and it's just for 30 days and so on, Windows Defender is actually good enough for most people. I'm not saying it's the best but it's good enough for pretty much most user and it is the antivirus in malware for Windows. It is integrated in Windows 8.1. All you have to do is go into your little search on the start menu or in your um, charms bar on the right side of the screen and just type Defender and you'll get to Windows Defender. You'll have to uninstall any antivirus software that was pre-installed on your machine. To get this. Talking of malware, another piece of software that I think is a must, even if you have a good antivirus, a big antivirus, malware bytes, free version is good enough for pretty much everybody. And you get it on malwarebytes.org website. There you'll see a free version and a premium version. Uh, free version is usually good enough for pretty much everybody. If you want more protection, the paid version at $24.95 for a year and three PCs is more of a real-time malware or anti-malware detector so it protects you even more if you pay for it and if you really like it uh, at $24.95 a year it's not that expensive to really keep your computer safe and this is a must and especially if you use Windows Defender I think the uh, Windows Defender and Malware Bytes together makes a really, really, really good job at protecting your PC. And so you can scan your computer maybe once a week with Malware Bytes and um, you know have your protection with Windows Defender. I think the, both of them together are excellent uh, to protect your PC from malware and viruses. What else is very useful? I will recommend using VideoLN or VLC Media Player. 
VLC media player is that orange cone that you see here. That's the icon you'll have when it's installed. The reason why I recommend using this free software is because Windows, pretty much every version of Windows lacks a really good player, multimedia player, uh, music, video files and so on. And what's cool is that VLC plays everything. So instead of having, you know, several software doing things and some things play in media players, some play in another type of player and often there's these crappy uh, multimedia player that comes with a lot of PCs. Uh, you know what? Install VLC media player and let it take control of every file, um, you know, either music, sound, and uh, video types of file. It plays pretty much every type of videos. It plays DVDs, everything. If you're having problems, install this player. And you get it at videolan.org slash VLC, as you see here. So this is a great multimedia player. Usually nobody needs anything else. This plays everything. And um, finally, uh, although Internet Explorer 11 is actually not that bad of a browser, I would still recommend to pretty much everybody to install Google Chrome. Google Chrome is Google's web browser. This will replace Internet Explorer and actually I find Google Chrome a little faster and often uh, less cluttered as you go through the web and um, basically personally um, now on this machine that's not what I'm using but on my main Windows 8.1 machine I use Google Chrome and I use pretty much Google Chrome everywhere and what's even more interesting is that if you have a Gmail account you just log in with your Google Chrome and you know what all the settings all your bookmarks or favorites will all go into each computer if you have more than one machine this is pretty good and of course you can import all the uh, favorites from Internet Explorer and settings if you want. So uh, basically these are pretty much the types of uh, software that I would recommend to any Windows 8.1 users. So as we get it, it's Classic Shell, very important to uh, bring back a decent start menu, especially if you have a mouse and keyboard computer. Malwarebytes, protection is fantastic. Uh, of course, activate your Windows Defender antivirus, install VideoLAN or VLC media player to get um, really, you know, the maximum out of multimedia files, audio and video, and Google Chrome for a nice uh, experience while surfing the web. Maybe you have some of your own software that you'd like to share. Why not uh, put comments below the video and let us know what you use that you think would be something really, really useful for any Windows 8.1 user. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any uh, problems, any comments, anything that you'd like to know, we, uh, of course, can help you. By subscribing to our channel, of course, you get notifications when we post new videos, and we try to post almost every day new videos here. So I uh, hope you enjoy these. And thanks for the great feedback. A lot of people will be giving me some really, really nice feedback. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.